Hey guys, it's your boy Dean right here and today I wanted to show you how to make that really cool thumping arpeggiated bass synth sound. That was actually funny. So if you're like me, you've probably heard this sound in one of your favorite pop or worship songs and gone, how do you make that sound? It's so cool. So I did some snooping around in GarageBand and figured out, hey, it's really simple. You only have to click one button and you're ready to go. So let me show you how to do this in GarageBand. All right, so here's how we're gonna do it. We're inside of GarageBand. We're gonna click add new track, click a software or MIDI instrument track, of course. And then in our library, we are going to go to synthesizers and bass. Okay, so these are bass synths. They'll be in the lower register. So if I click on agile synth bass, I'll hit command K, bring up my typing keyboard. And this is the sound you get without it arpeggiated. So to arpeggiate it, all we will do is go down and hit the arpeggiator button right here. So when I engage that, it's actually going to start to arpeggiate the note that I'm playing. So if I hit it now, it's like that, but that's way too fast. So it might be right for your project, but if you need to, you can click in here and go to rate. And I'm gonna go from 16th notes into eighth notes here and hit it again. So that's about right on for this project. Now for you, 16th notes will probably actually be the right setting, but just based on the tempo that I have set in this song, eighth notes works better. So after that, you're ready to jam and make your own 80s pop synth song. Or you might use it for a worship song like this one. synth or worship you can use this synth arpeggiator for anything you'll hear it in a lot of pop music you'll hear it in a lot of songs that need more energy but you don't want to speed up the tempo so it's your boy Dean encouraging you to go check out the arpeggiator bass synth and write yourself a cool stinking song <laughs>